Well, this is part two of my videos on my attempts to remove vibration and shake from my rigid band saw. Uh, my Facebook photo albums document what I did replacing the wooden base and that didn't quite cure everything. So I've gone and went through a tune-up on the bandsaw itself, uh, balancing the upper and lower wheels and replacing the original rubber tires with urethane tires. The upper wheel required the most balancing. You can see the spots where I did a little spot drilling on the ribs to bring it back into balance. If you look in my Facebook photo album, you will see the number marks that I made when checking the balance and you can see it was pretty heavily biased between these uh, three ribs right here. The lower wheel was a little easier to bring into balance mainly because it was so, I don't know, I guess the word's heavier out of balance that when I would spin it and it would coast to a stop, it would actually stop and then reverse direction until the heavy side was down. And so it, uh, it did not require quite as much effort to bring it back into balance. Although there's a couple of drill marks on the opposite side of the bandsaw that I put into the V-belt pulley itself. Now it seems both wheels are balanced about as good as I can get them and we'll see how much uh, vibration I've removed doing this. Okay, now we've got the saw running again like we have the other day. And there's uh, still a little bit of vibration along here, but not as much as it was. The table itself is quite going to reduce vibration. In fact, it's now steady enough that I can put a nifty coffee cup on it. I'm not certain if the uh, video shows it clearly, but the bandsaw is actually running a little quieter too. We'll turn it off and watch it settle down here and see there's still some movement there as it settles down. 